area of compound shapes. In this nugget, we are learning to find the area of compound shapes. The area is the amount of space taken up by a 2D shape or surface. A compound shape is a shape made up of two or more simpler shapes. For example, this green shape is a compound shape. It can be split into two rectangles. In this nugget, we'll just be looking at compound shapes that can be split into squares or rectangles. We already know that the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. So if we know the length and the width of this rectangle, we can easily work out its area. The length of the rectangle, 5 cm, multiplied by the width of the rectangle, 6 cm, is 30. The area of the rectangle is 30 cm squared. Don't forget to include the units, in this case, centimetres squared. To find the area of a compound shape, you need to first separate the compound shape into the simpler squares and rectangles. There may be more than one way to separate the compound shape. There is more than one way to separate this compound shape into rectangles, but the answer will still be the same. Next, we work out the area of each simpler shape. Let's find the area of the smaller rectangle first by multiplying its length and its width. 5.5 .5 multiplied by 6 is 33. The area of the smaller rectangle is 33 metres squared. Let's do the same for the larger rectangle. We know from our times tables that 11 times 8 is 88. The area of the larger rectangle is 88 metres squared. Finally, we add the area of all the shapes together. 33 plus 88 is 121. The area of the entire compound shape is 121 metres squared. Make sure to include the right unit. The measurements of this compound shape have been given in metres, so your answer should be in metres squared. Now it's your turn. Pause the video if you need time to think. Again, first we separate the shape into simpler squares and rectangles. This time we don't know the lengths of all the rectangles. We need to find some missing lengths. We know the length of one of the sides is 5 centimetres and the length of the other side is 3 centimetres. So the missing side of our largest rectangle must be 2 centimetres. Next, we find the area of each simpler shape. Let's find the area of the larger rectangle first by multiplying its length and its width. 6 times 2 is 12. Next, let's find the area of one of the smaller rectangles by again multiplying its length by its width. 3 times 2 is 6. These two smaller rectangles are identical, so we don't have to find the area of both. Finally, we add the area of all the shapes together. We need to add two lots of the smaller rectangle, as there are two of them. 12 plus 6 plus 6 is 24. The area of the compound shape is 24 centimetres squared. Remember, area is the amount of space taken up by a 2D shape or surface. To find the area of a compound shape, separate the shape into smaller squares and rectangles. Work out the area of each simpler shape. And finally, add the area of all the shapes together.